So, no, I, I wouldn't say I have a passion for HR. Welcome back to Human Resources for the People. It's a human capital revolution. Today we're going to be talking about the protests going on in Bangladesh over the minimum wage and what's happening there. So the Bangladesh Garment Manufacturers and Exporters Association pushed forward in their negotiations this year, and it's the first time in five years, they pushed forward an increase to the monthly minimum wage uh, to $90 a month, uh, and that's an increase of 25%. So, I mean, that sounds on its face quite huge, right? 25% increase, uh, but it's still $90 a month. Uh, that I will tell you that just off the top of my head, that's extremely low. I believe some in Cambodia, it's something like $200 a month, $150 to $200 a month. Uh, and the cost of living is, is not that much different. So uh, they offered a 25% increase to $90 a, a month. The last time there was a minimum wage increase was 2018. Currently, the minimum wage in Bangladesh is $75 a month, which almost everyone unilaterally says is too small. Earlier this month, there were protests and riots uh, in in Bangladesh, in Bangladesh and outside of Dhaka, and uh, one person was killed uh, after police were using tear gas and rubber bullets to break up the protest while the, the crowds were throwing stones, allegedly. Uh, so the garment workers' anger it just spiraled out November 7th uh, after the government panel's decision to offer a pay rise to 56%, which everyone is still saying to, is not enough. That would move the minimum wage to $114 a month uh, on December 1st, which is $12,500. So, you know, let's let's be clear here. It's it's currently at $75 a month. The Bangladesh Garment Manufacturers and Exporters Association put forth $90, and then there was a subsequent rise uh, to $113. This resulted in 23-year-old Anjuara Khatun, uh, shot uh, in the head uh, on the way to the, and, and, and went uh, to the hospital where she ultimately passed away from her injuries. Uh, the protesters were hurling bricks at factories, cars, and police officers. Police officers fired right back. Bangladesh's inflation has just been so high for so long. Uh, it's continued. It's currently uh, upwards above 9% for the last five months. And as a result, and with the fact that the rate, wages have not been raised in nearly uh, or in five years, you're seeing an absolute uh, diminishment of the work that is being done in those factories. And so I, I find that you know inflation is again rearing its ugly head throughout the United States. BGMEA is you know calling for fair prices from the buyers. And they're just not getting it. Now, we do need to talk about who the buyers are. There are companies like Uniqlo and, uh, and H&M, as well as ASOS and M&S, that are pay not paying higher prices, which the factory owners can then pass on to the employees. Amarul Haq Amin, who's the president of the National Garment Workers Federation, says we call on brands to speak out in support of our demands because brands hold significant power to bu make buying decisions that have a direct impact on workers' wages. We know that decisions on wage increases are strongly linked with the prices buyers are willing to pay. The Manufacturers Association says that the factory owners are under pressure because global brands in Western countries are offering less than ever before. While they're offering less, the owners say that the production costs have also increased and because of higher energy costs and transportation costs. The trade unions are looking for $207 per month, which is a significant increase, an 180% increase over the current uh, minimum wage based on a thorough cost of living study conducted by Bangladesh Institute for Labor Studies. They said that any wage below $207 per month will not be enough for the workers to support themselves and their dependents. Iqbal uh, wrote a letter to the factories or to the companies that buy from them and says, I have also appealed to you during the meeting that during the unexpected labor unrest in the past three weeks, factories which were forced to close down, some of them were vandalized, they were not able to continue their operations during those days. You have assured us that those factories will not be penalized, and I hope you will support your suppliers as much as possible. The 10 largest buyers in Bangladesh are H&M, Inditex, 
Walmart, Next, Lidl, Asda, CNA, Tesco, Aldi, Marks and Spencer, VF Corporation, and Target. And they're ultimately the ones that are responsible for these protests. Uh, they are, you know, utilizing uh, price contracts and refusing to raise any of their prices, which ultimately, again, the the prices that they pay to this uh, to BGMEA, the factory owners, which ultimately, if they do offer more, you'll see that in the form of inflation on your shopping market aisles in the United States and the rest of the world. Uh, so let me know what you think. Um, is uh, you know what what do you think about this problem of fast fast fashion and the cost of moving these uh, opportunities to. Uh, the rest of uh, to the rest of the world and sort of outsourcing poverty in many ways. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.